Hello YouTubers, this is my second attempt at uh, the upgrade from the last time I did um, my wood-fired stove inside the RV. Uh, it's really not pretty, <laughs> but it works. And I got this at Orchelin's, and this is pretty awesome. It keeps us really warm at night. I ended up having to make it look even worse because I had to chip this away because the slide out wouldn't slide in. Um, I am going to extend it actually on the floor just because there's so many ashes and wood pieces when you're putting wood in from outside and it's really messy. Um, other than that, I really have no complaints. I put it outside of the window. It to... Uh, it was smoking at first. I could not figure out how to get it to not smoke. So I went and bought what's called um, cement. It's firewood, fireplace cement. And I just put it around that. And it seems to be working. Hasn't had a problem with it at all. Works really good, guys. It's been 15 degrees and we stay at 70, 75 uh, it, we crack the windows at 30 degrees. <laughs> it's awesome. I get to keep my big windows open all the time. I have to definitely fix the walls here, as you can see. I used backer board, uh, cement backer board to, to keep the heat out. Actually, I, as you can see, I've got a piece behind there as well. So I have one, two, three, four, five pieces of backer board. And I need to make them actually into a wall by adding wood and stabilizing them but let's go outside here and this is the outside rig so i literally just had a metal piece i'm gonna have to put something in there to to fit it better um but this is this is basically it i used some wire and some long poles that goes to that. I stuck some wood in there to hold them there. And that's that's the whole rig. It's pretty awesome. It's nice out. Hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope this helps. Uh, we've been doing it for a month. And like I said, it's, it's still a work in progress, but it is doing well. We've, I've heated it up so much before that it actually turned white on the sides and and you shouldn't really do that from understand because, you know, overheating it is not good either. But it is not pretty, like I said, but it works. What I did for the floor was I took porcelain. This is really nice porcelain that is, like, constantly getting dirty. Um, the backer board underneath. And then some very large cement squares. And I put six down. This is, let's see, three. It is as big as the backer board is what I made the floor as big as the backer board, but like I said, I'm going to have to extend it. I think I'm just going to buy some more paneling. I'm not going to actually glue them in the way I did with those. Um, but uh, I, I grouted and I, I put some, you know, stuff there to, to glue them. Be careful that the glue that you use is fire uh, stable. And that's it. That's basically it. I use this. This is a nifty little thing. A crowbar. I actually take, if I can't get the wood in, I take the end with the crowbar, pull it, and push it. So, and I, I love this crowbar using it in there. It's probably the best piece that I've used to move fire around and stuff like that. Um, well, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions or comments, I'll be more than happy to try to answer them. I'm not a professional. This is not a professional thing. I did talk to... Uh, a retired fire safety chief uh, at, that was working at, at Home Depot. He w he's a fireman or whatnot. So, and he was the one that gave me the idea about all this. So, that's it. Thanks, guys. Feel free to like and subscribe and comment. Thanks. Oh, and please be nice with the comments. <laughs>